Hello everyone, this is the review for Monster. This is Gore's Horror Movie Month, Episode 6. Now, Monster is an asylum movie. If you don't know who the asylum is, it's a company that makes cheap movies for DVD that are rip-offs of movies that just recently came out at that time. This is ripping off Cloverfield. Uh, there's another one called Transformers. Can you guess what that's ripping off? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, uh GoBots? No, Transformers, of course. You know, not GoBots, no one wants to rip off that. Uh, yeah. That that show is a ripoff of Transformers, even though it's made by the same per people, I'm pretty sure. Whatever, anyway. Monster is a silent movie, that means it can't be good. No, no movie is good, but they're also really bad, so bad that they're good. That's the category that those always fall in, because they have horrible acting, awesome special effects, which I mean horrible special effects. Uh, and does this have all that? I don't know. Let's see. Let's go to the story, which I can tell you, I don't have any clue right there, pretty much. But let's go on to story, and I'll explain whatever I can. Okay, now the story, like I said, I have no idea. All right, I'll piece some of it together. Two girls went to Japan for some reason. I guess it's for some history assignment or some assignment in co college or so. I don't know. Uh, whether maybe they just wanted to go, ah, I want to go to freaking Japan the same freaking day of fucking... Monster comes and eats us all. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. It's bad. I'll just say right there. They went to go to both of them go to Japan. Why? I don't know. So they go there. They're like, la, la, la. We're interviewing people and stuff. I guess for some reason. I don't know. Project. Um, I think it's like between. I don't know. Some, 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 it's something. It's something. About history with Japan or something. Let's leave it at that. And don't correct me because I really don't care. <laughs> don't like write a whole paragraph like this movie is complex. You just don't understand. You're dumb. Like fuck you. You like this movie. You suck my balls. Uh, yeah. But anyway, two girls go to Japan. Monster comes. They have to run away. Let's go on to acting, which is going to be the best part of this movie. Okay, now the acting in this uh, movie is pretty fucking uh, awesome, actually. It's bad, but it's awesome. All right, I'll just say it like that. Uh. <laughs> There's the two main girls there, you know, obvious girls. They went to go interview Jap Japanese people for some fucking reason. And Monster comes, so get, they go, oh my god, I'm scared. Uh, I want to get out of here. Fucking Jap Jap Japan, man. I I used to love Japan, but now it's gay. Fucking Godzilla and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, they, they're they pretty bad. I don't know what that has to do with acting. <laughs> Godzilla and all that stuff. Yeah, I know, Godzilla. I know. They go, they say Gojiha or Gojira or something like that. Uh, this is bad. The acting's bad. That's all I gotta say. All right, everybody's bad. The supporting cast is bad. You know, there's like one other male guy that could speak English, but he translates Japanese into English and all that kind of stuff. He translates in English to Japanese. He's a translator, so yeah, he gets killed off. I'll just say that in the first five minutes, even though he 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 looks like he might be a main character. He's like. I know where to I know where to go. Come on, come on, come on. What's your name? My name's this. La, la, la. What do I do here? I do this. La, la, la. So we're getting a big backstory of this guy, and then he freaking dies two minutes later. So there's like no point of him. <laughs> so yeah, the acting's pretty bad. Let's go on to, uh, you know what? The next category is just going to be whatever I can think of, because really the there is no violence. The special effects are horrible and all that, so I'll just think of stuff. Obviously, if you can't tell, I love this movie. All for the bad reasons. Uh... I can't really say any, anything else. The special effects are so bad. Like, there's a part where a girl goes, Oh my god, look at this building. It's on... Oh my god, it's like breaking down. And, and the building's fine, you could tell. And, but the only thing that's wrong with it is that there's uh, fire effects, you know, like really bad fire effects and really bad smoke effects around it. Like, you could tell it looks like a freaking CGI game. Uh, like, it looks like the outfit. If you ever play that game, it has smoke and fire. It looks horrible. But in this in this well, I was about to say game in this movie. Oh my god! It looks like they just cut it right out of the outfit. That's probably what they did. Yeah. So yeah, the <laughs> the special effects are horrible. The freaking monster in this movie. You, the, you you're looking at this cover art and you're probably going, oh, that looks kind of cool. Okay, it's not even that tall. It's not it it's not even that tall. And you're probably going, what the hell is it? Just a bunch of tentacles. Yeah, that's all it is. A bunch of tentacles. You see what the the only thing that you see that's practical, which means uh, real, you know, not special effects, 
is a tentacle, and it's the, probably the fakest tentacle, rubber tentacle ever. I heard that they used the same one for octopus versus giant shark or something like that. Giant shark versus giant octopus. All right, mega shark versus giant octopus. There you go. That's what it's called. I think they use the same uh, friggin' uh, tentacle, uh, fake tentacle for that movie too. Oh my god, it's bad. All right, if I have to give it a score, yeah, but it's awesome bad. You know, it's good bad. <laughs> it's so it, I'm never gonna watch it again, only because it sometimes. I mean, they do this a lot. They do like the static a lot. They do that effect a lot. Like they're like, wow, you got a really bad camera. <laughs> I mean. The freaking camera in Cloverfield took a pretty good beating, and that one was a pretty. I think that was just camcorder. They have a real camera, and it's like. I I wonder, can you hear? Like really, wow, and it's annoying. That's the only reason why I wouldn't watch this again. Mega Shark versus Giant Octopus. I still didn't see. I heard it was awesome, awesome movie. But I I can't wait to see that. Don't watch this though; it's kind of boring. But watch it watch it once, skip through it a little bit until they keep talking to each other. Like you see the the monster; it's hilarious. Okay, I know I'm making no sense, but really, see it if you want to see some shitty effects. All right, if you're like laugh at that kind of thing and you're like, wow, this is fun. Let's get a bu- let's get a bunch of our friends and laugh at this. But if you know you're you're one of those guys like, oh, I want to see a clever monster movie. Even though this movie rips off another movie called Monster, which Charlize Theron, but that has nothing to do with monsters. It just has to do with a girl that kills peep, uh, guys. Anyway, what do I give this uh, movie? I have a good to bad rating. I'll give it like a 7 because it, you know, like a good, like bad but good. You know, so bad it's good rating. I'll give it a 7. But for a, just a movie... It's getting a two out of ten because it's so freaking bad. But for the so bad it's good ratings, it's getting a seven. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. It's bad. Thank you and bye.